And let's get to sort of the, uh, the global outlook, if we can, because you usually give us a pretty good one. You said uh, on that outlook, you're quoted or quoted as saying, you know, although the third quarter rebound was significant, recovery's been uneven across markets. And you expect this will continue in the near term. Give us a little more sense as to why you're saying that. Yeah, good morning, David. Uh, we saw good demand in the third quarter. It improved uh, sequentially from second quarter. Uh, but we still see some markets that are not back to pre-COVID levels. If you look at areas like uh, packaging, food and specialty packaging, industrial uh, consumer packaging, if you look at things like health and hygiene markets, electronics, durable goods, automotive, all strong, all making a comeback, construction making a comeback. I, I would say packaging this year has been up every month, year over year in volume. Uh, so that's a very strong number. And while appliances have come back, they've also come back to almost pre-COVID levels. Automotive is up, but it isn't back to pre-COVID levels. It may take a year or two for them to get back to pre-COVID construction levels. So it's looking good. Uh, it's looking good around the world. Brazil was particularly strong in the third quarter. That was probably unexpected for us to see them come out that strong. And I would say across almost all markets in China, are, we're back to pre-COVID levels. All right. Still uh, some room to go in some markets here in yeah. the U.S. Now, obviously, concern about the resurgence of the virus, not just here in, in this country, where it never has sort of not surged, but really in Europe as well. Are you concerned about potential, not, not necessarily even lockdowns, but simply a diminution of economic activity as we see it uh, surge in some key markets? I think you have to be on the watch uh, for what's going to happen and you have to adjust, you know, so our, our view is, you know, wash your hands, wear a mask, watch your distance with people. And if we do those things and if everybody does those things, we should be able to keep the economies open and keep people going back to work and back to school. But if if people start to deviate from that, you're going to see cases rise and you're going to see spikes. And that's when governments feel like they need to step in sometimes and, and shut things down. Um, we've been doing relatively well, but we can't keep our eye off the ball. We're going to have to be in this kind of operation for the next year or so. Jim, Jim Kramer, always good to see you. Nice to see you, Jim. OK, so, Jim, you reduced debt uh, a dramatic amount, uh, $1.8 billion. Uh, which I think is incredible. Remember one time people were worried about your dividend. I mean, with this kind of debt reduction, I, 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 is that sustainable? Because uh, you are really uh, reliquifying this balance sheet. Well, the team did a fantastic job of price volume management and operating the assets to really capture the demand growth that we saw in the third quarter. We did a great job in second quarter of reducing rates to match demand, and we managed cash and liquidity in the second quarter. And we did a super job of ramping back up in the third quarter and really capturing it on the top line and the bottom line. This is a cash generating machine. We generated $1.5 billion in free cash flow from operations, which is flat with the year ago period, even though our earnings are down versus the year ago period. And we did it because we controlled our capex, we controlled our spending, and we did all the things that you need to do to manage cash and liquidity. We've paid down $1.8 billion in debt year to date. That was in line with our target that we wanted to do. Uh, we've also been able to manage our CapEx and keep the plants running reliably. And I think if we can continue in this space, obviously the dividend is safe at $518 million a quarter. But if we can continue in this space, we can start to open up CapEx a little bit with discipline and, and with a gradual ramp as we see the demand continue to improve. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.